what we want to do now is put in the lake. Now, the lake, I don't need to draw a, a, any of the lake because as you can see, the lake has been defined. The lakes have all been defined except for these two little islands in this little part of Canada, but we'll skip that for now. I'll get, um, actually, let's not skip that for now. Let's, let's be real here. I'm going to open up the layers and I'm going to put, it's on the other states. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that little part there. And that is the right color. And I'm going to draw this little island. And now I have all of my pieces. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, if I turn off the base map, you can see that I've got the, the shape of the lakes are there. It's not a big deal. I don't need to redraw or try to trace along the border. So I'm going to just click on a box. We'll turn that map back on and I get my guide back. My guide is on that layer. I'm going to draw a box. I could just duplicate. I could use the layer box, but it doesn't really matter, you know, for the right size. I can just draw another box um, over the whole thing. Oops, I wasn't on the, the lakes layer. I could have been, but I, I can just drag that dot down to the lakes layer where it was selected. Now, this, this fill is brown. That was a default. The last color I used was brown. So I'm actually going to now click on uh, this light blue here. Um, it's a little bit dark still, so I can come up to this color guide and um, this color uh, mixer. And actually, if I, <coughs> excuse me, if I hold the shift key down, I c if I don't hold the shift key down, I can just move black and lighten it. But if I want to make it the same exact, exact color, only a lower value, a lighter version of it, I hold the shift key down, all of the sliders will come with me, come, come together. And that way you get a much more accurate, you get a much closer color to the color you originally had. Uh, these colors are awfully close to each other. You see the value the, of Michigan next to Wisconsin. So I can actually click on the Wisconsin, hold the shift key down, lighten that a little bit. Um, you know, this is kind of creepy red here, so I could add a little blue to that just to darken it and, you know, flatten it a little bit. But I've got all these states. I want to have white borders. So you, re you may recall what I did before, and I'm going to do this very quickly. Um, I, need I need to borrow this Michigan border. I'm going to borrow this Michigan border. I don't want lines along my lakes because that looks kind of tacky to me. So I'm going to select um, the borders that are correct. I want. I know Michigan's correct. Wisconsin has these. this correct border down here. I mean, no, Wisconsin has no correct borders. It's Michigan is defining the upper border, and Illinois is defining the lower border. So I need Illinois, this part of Michigan, this part of Michigan to define those. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually – create a new layer that is, I'm, I'm going to call that, uh, I'm going to call that um, uh, borders, and I'm going to create it right above the Michigan layer. So I'm just going to click a new layer, and I'm going to call it borders, and say okay. And now when I, uh, I uh, you know, if I move these all at the same time, you'll see I just have those pieces. But what I want to do now is edit, copy those, I just like I did in the last tutorial, and edit paste those in front, right on top of each other. So what I've just done is pasted these three polygons right on top of each other. So it doesn't look like I did anything. But if I move them, you'll see there are duplicates of them right on top. Now what I'm interested in is this lower border, of upper northern border, lower border of Michigan, this upper border of Illinois, and this lower border of Michigan. Uh, I don't care about any of these. And I just want the line that defines that edge of that polygon, just the line. I'm going to throw all the rest away. So I'm going to go to my scissors, which was were under my eraser tool, and zoom in up here to this border. And another way to actually see what you're doing here, I can just click on this and I can see it. But you can also go into view outline mode, and you can see a lot clearer with what you're doing. And then you go, can go back to preview or command Y. Um, I'll go ahead and leave it right here because I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to click on the scissors and just click on that corner point there, slide over there and click on that corner point. Now what I've done is I've I've just isolated that line from the rest of the polygon, and I'm going to go ahead and get my black arrow, which selects uh, whole objects. The, the white arrow allows you to select individual parts of an object or parts of a group. So I'm going to select that. See, now that I've selected all of this, it doesn't have anything on the southern border. And if I delete that, I've deleted that extra piece from the duplicated polygon. And now all I have is this little piece left, and it has a fill. And no line, because that's what I'm, I've defined down here as a fill with no line. So I'm going to go ahead and select that <coughs> and get have make it give it no fill. This is selected that lower border, that just that line I re, I clipped out of the of the duplicated Michigan Upper Peninsula, and I'm going to click on on the fill and say no fill, 
and then I'm going to click on the white on the line and bring it to the front and come over here and click on white make that white so you can see that here I do have now I have that border so another thing I can do though is that once I've done that I can come up to the opacity up here and I can select that and slide that down a bit so you're actually sort of seeing through it a little bit and what it does is it sort of blends you know picks up the colors under it 